one of the highest honors of my lifetime to be elected unanimously as the chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus for the 114th Congress, and I take this work very seriously. Beginning in January, North Carolina Democrat G.K. Butterfield will lead the 45-member Congressional Black Caucus, known in short as the CBC. The group was established in 1971 to address the policy concerns of a growing number of African Americans in Congress. And even though an African American now occupies the Oval Office, Butterfield says the CBC is as relevant as ever. It's the role of the Congressional Black Caucus legislatively to fight every day uh, to try to protect those in our communities, not just African Americans, uh, but those who have been left out of the American dream in this new economy. His chief task, he says, is to maintain the group's reputation as the conscience of the Congress while tackling issues such as unemployment, income inequality, and access to quality education. Now, the Republican Party has taken control of the legislative branch of government, and so our responsibility is, is increased. Uh, we've got to get in there and fight. While the CBC is nonpartisan, it's dominated by Democrats. Butterfield says he welcomes black Republicans into the fold. But what we would ask of them is that they embrace, uh, if not totally, at least the core principles of the Congressional Black Caucus. And Butterfield, who recently celebrated his 10th year in Congress, says his new leadership position will give him a louder voice in representing the 1st District. The 1st District of North Carolina has high incidence of, of unemployment. We still have a great disparity in health care and access to health care. And so while I lead these 45 men and women for the next two years in national issues, I've got to continue to focus on and be a part of solutions in the 1st Congressional District. And so my work has been multiplied. But I'm up for the challenge and I'm ready to, to do the job that's been assigned. Reporting in Washington, Jeff Bennett, Time Warner Cable News.